Every day, a manager sends workbooks that look like this one to his accountant. Each invoice occupied one row. The expenses were entitled to a single cell using Alt plus Enter to separate each line. Obviously, this is not how you should set up data in Excel, but the manager won't change. He's been doing it this way for 30 years and only has 5 more years until retirement and wants the total to appear in column B. Impossible, right? Not impossible with Power Query tools. So let's take the data into Power Query, click on the Data tab, and from Get and Transform Data, click on the Tables Range button. Make sure that the box My Table header is checked. Also, check if the range for your table is correct. Press OK. Great. Select the Expenses column. On the Home tab, choose the Split Column button. Then by Delimiter. In the Split Column by Delimiter dialog box, choose Advanced Options. From the Select or Enter Delimiter, choose Custom. Change the Split into, from Columns to Rows, clear out the dash that was entered in the Custom Delimiter box. At the bottom, use Insert Special Character in Line Feed. Press OK. Look at that! The Mythos, Corona, and Budweiser were split into three rows. The same with the other invoices. Initially, the data had Mythos Beer and $85 in one column. Selecting Split Column by Delimiter and clicking OK easily splits the data at the dash. Right now you would likely be thrilled to take this data back to Excel, but let's go even further. Delete the products and expenses one column. Select the invoice column and choose group by. In the group by dialog box, select group by invoice and create a new column called total expenses. which is a sum of expense 2. This will produce a table with one row per invoice. Each row will list the total expense for that invoice. When you close and load, Excel will insert a new worksheet with a new table. Each invoice number occurs once with the total expense. The only tricky part left was to teach the manager to click Data, Refresh All, after making any edits. Every time that I think I'm going to have to reach for VBA, I'm amazed that Power Query saves the day. Thanks for watching.